Hey guys, I'm finally back and it's good to be back. I am so like in the rhythm with my daily life and I don't know why I keep doing this, but I'm just so happy to be back. Okay, so it's been pretty busy. We came back from vacation and I've been getting ready for work and doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, just, you know, life in a sense. So the point is, after all of my jabbering is I'm going back to work really soon. Kinda like the summer vacation, really do. But with summer vacation comes, you know, going out to the pool, to the beach, obviously. I am totally dressed to go to the beach, um, even though we just came back from the beach. But we found out that there's a beach that's closer to us, like 45 minutes to an hour. That's like saying from where I live to Orlando, so. I was like, hmm, and my dad was like, hmm, and my mom was like, you know what, we should go. So that's what we're going to do today. Oh, I hate the fact that the color is changing. It's like, I, I hate that with this thing. Okay, it should stay the same. Anyway, so because we're going to the beach, um, usually if I know I'm going to dip myself into the water like headfirst completely, I don't wear makeup, I just wear sunscreen, you know, just as a sun protectant. But today, because we're checking out this new place, I may dip my, you know, dip my toes in the water, which I always love to do anyway, but um, I still want to have a little bit of coverage, just just the tiniest little bit. So if it comes off, it's not like, mm, it, it's not a huge deal, you know? So I'm actually going to show you my, you know, out going to the beach, you know, kind of routine. So stick around and we're going to get to it. So the first thing that I'm focused on covering is, of course, you know, my blemishes. I don't want extreme, like, full coverage, but I don't, you know, this ain't cute sometimes. This it's just ain't cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Dermablend leg and body cover. It already comes in with SPF 15 and I'm going to take my Beauty Blender. Don't judge. It's not a Beauty Blender. Sorry. Real Techniques. Real Techniques blending sponge, not a beauty blender, um, but a blending sponge, and you know, don't judge, it's dirty, I know the one in your house is dirty too, you gotta clean yours, I gotta clean mine, We're, I'm a person, okay? So all I'm going to do is take this, and I'm going to use like the pointed end of it, and I'm taking the slightest, slightest little bit, like that, like barely anything on here and I'm going to use this pretty much for like my whole face so usually the areas let me cover this usually the areas that I'm most concerned with is like probably this side and a few like underneath my chin so I'm just going to take this and start blending this through as you can see it's pretty like this bottom part is pretty much covered it's a really good I know it says leg and body it was actually originally meant to cover up tattoos and like body scarring but I, I use it for concealer why not I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna take I'm not gonna push out any more product I'm just taking like the tip and just bringing it up here and it's very very little I'm telling you I when I go to the beach I don't want a full face of makeup even though there are some women that they love that as you can see it's already especially this side, it's covered up a lot more. And I'm gonna press out just a teensy bit more product, not a lot, you can see that. And I'm just gonna get this part up here and my forehead. So yeah, not a lot at all. And then whatever is left, again, I'm going to do this. Get underneath my chin here. And now, obviously, I can just, you know, kind of go out and call this a day, but I want more coverage, not just, you know, SPF 15. And what I mean by coverage is the sunscreen. So to protect my face, let me just blend that out a little bit more. And this really takes like five minutes, nothing, nothing too extensive. Um, what I also use here is the Bare Minerals, uh, what's this called? Complexion Rescue is Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream and pretty much is like putting lotion on your face so you really don't need to set it. At least I don't. 
Um, and it's also SPF 30, so you're going to get some pretty good coverage on your face. I still recommend wearing a hat, sunglasses, you know, just to further protect your face, especially if you have acne scarring. Please take my advice. If you have acne scarring, you do not want to overexpose your natural, like, bare face to the sun, especially in the peak hours, like in Florida especially. The peak hours are like, I want to say 1 to like 4. That's why we never leave for the beach until later on, and we try to get to the beach later on in the evening when the sun's already starting to set. But still, even then, I protect my face. The reason why you don't want to overexpose your skin is because then the scarring is going to it's gonna be harder to get rid of it. It really, really is. So you wanna make sure that you get rid of that scarring. And the overexposure, the more exposed that your skin becomes to the sun, the deeper and longer that those scars are going to stay. So I'm just going to take a little bit of their hygiene drug cream and I'm just gonna put like this. Not a, You don't need a whole lot. I think I'll put a little bit more like this. You don't need a whole lot and this lasts forever because I only use it on days where like I'm not going to put a lot of makeup on, I just need some basic, basic, basic coverage. Now you can use any brush you want, you can even apply this with your fingers, it says it on the back of the package, you can apply with clean fingers and you'll be good to go, like I said, you can apply it just like a lotion. But I like to use either one of these two kabuki brushes. One, uh, this one I got from like eBay or Amazon, something like that. It came in like in a huge, huge set. It's really dense and compact. It's nice and soft as well. This one I got from BH Cosmetics. It's not as dense as this one. So they're both very soft. I mean, either one. Uh, personally, I tend to go for this one just a little bit more because it's you know, I feel like it's just sturdier and I can get the product on a little bit better. This one's just, it's a little bit more soft. So I don't know. I don't know. I love BH Cosmetics and there's a lot of their brushes that I absolutely love. But this one, I don't know. It came in a set, so eh, not too worried about it. Anyway, so that product that I have, I'm just going to start, just put on my brush and just start blending it. Just put it on. It's good. It feels cool to like your face. It feels like a lotion. It really, really does. But not like a greasy lotion. It's more of a like, hmm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> now, usually when I do my foundation, you know, you use the patting motions. But here, I'm going to put a little teensy bit more. And in case you're wondering what shade I am in this, I am number 8 Spice. I was confused, or not confused, I was like torn between a couple shades. Now, if you want more coverage, let's say, let's say you're not really going to get into the water and you want more coverage, you can, this is very like, you can layer this um, tint and moisturizer. It's very easy to layer. I've done that before. I'll get through the neck. And I usually don't wear concealer. You know, why? <laughs> it's just gonna get cr creased up anyway because I'm probably gonna sweat more than likely. There we go. See, so I have some coverage. I have some protection, some protection, SPF 30 on here. And we're pretty much just good to go. This is like what I usually do, either to the pool or to the beach. I'm not much of a pool person. Never, never have been that much. I'm, I love the beach. That I, I think, I think I was a mermaid sometime. You know, in another life, maybe. That's it. See, very easy, very simple. Two products. That is it. I, you know, I don't put anything on my eyes, like I said. I don't put any concealer, nothing like that. I leave my brows alone. I used to put, like, brow gel just to hold the hairs in place, but why take the extra, sh why take the extra step if you don't really need to? If you want to do that, up to you. It's completely, completely up to you. Sorry that I keep, like, I look taller and then shorter. It's just, I, I'm sitting on my wiggly chair right here. And sometimes I like sitting on my legs, and sometimes I just like sitting on my butt. But today I did two hours of bike riding on our 
walked on the trail that we have nearby and it was like two hours of bike riding so my butt it hurts anyway so just for the sake of a little extra oomph I'm going to be applying some highlighter and I finally I know it's like so old but I finally got my hands on champagne pop for um, the collaboration between Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics and I don't buy stuff like this like high-end products because ugh, this was like $38 luckily my my fiance loved me he loves me so much and he bought this for me for my birthday. He's a good man. A man that buys you high-end, you know, makeup product for your birthday. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Anyway, but just for the sake of it, I'm going to put some on. You know, you really don't have to. I was going to go out like this, but I was like, you know what? 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 You know. Get that extra glow going on. And I hate this lighting because my window is like right here. And this is like the best amount of lighting I can probably get. But it still looks good. Like, I just wish you can see it. It's so pretty. Just trying to see. Oh, 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 there it is. It's a little bit. A little bit right there. So, yeah. Got a little bit of glowing going on. And if you want to, you know, hide your eyes because there's no concealer, you can always solve it like this. There we go. And this is how I am at the beach, just sitting here, enjoying the day, looking good, covering up my scarring, getting some sun protection, and you know, playing it cool with some sunglasses. All I need is my hat. Oh, there's my hat. This is like one of the best purchases I have ever made. And I'm not a hat person. I really, really am not a hat person. But this is the cutest little hat ever. And now if you're a nerd like I am, this is... Legend of Zelda, as you can see, and it's specifically from Skyward Sword. Double check. Yep, that's the label says right here. Zelda Skyward Sword. And if you have no clue what I'm talking about, it's a video game. If you're wondering where I got this from, by the way, I purchased it from Think Geek. I am telling you, I totally I can spend so much money in that store, and it's so bad. Um, it's bad of me. I bought a, a mini fridge cooler for um, my office space, and it's the best. It's Han Solo trapped in um, kryptonite or carbonite. David's going to be mad at me that I can't remember. Ugh. Oh, man. Is it kryptonite or... Carbonite? I th oh, my goodness. He's going to be so mad at me that I forgot. But, you know, I'm not, like, a huge Star Wars fan, but I'm... I like it enough to, like, purchase items from, like, the movies and stuff, but I can't remember if it was kryptonite or carbonite. I think... Oh my goodness. I feel so dumb right now. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, but this is my go-to type of, you know, beach pool look. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and, you know, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video, which will be coming up super, super soon. I plan on doing a, like, full face foundation uh, tutorial just to show you how I do, like, my actual, like, foundation for full coverage for acne prone skin um, or for scarred you know for scarring so stay tuned for that and I can't wait to see you guys very soon I love you have a good day bye